Hello. Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, first of all, shame on you for not knowing because I say it in every single video that you guys should follow my main channel where I post covers and singing videos. So if you don't know this by now, I don't know where you've been. But for those of you who don't know, I do sing and I do songwrite. Or as I like to say, I make musical tones come out of my mouth and I do write down my emotions all the time and play piano keys behind them. For those of you who have never heard me sing, I'll just give you a quick little snippet. <coughs> La 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 la. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I do sing, so you guys should check out my main channel after this if you didn't know I sang. But anyway, for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about the time my song got on the radio, which was super exciting. And I'm also gonna be giving you aspiring artists out there some advice on how to get your songs on the radio and how to promote yourselves as singers. So let's get into the story about the time that my song got on the radio. Wow, it's crazy to think about, but about two summers ago, I was in Hershey Park for my sister's cheerleading competition, which she did great in, by the way, and I was sleeping. It was early in the morning, maybe eight in the morning, and my mom comes into my room and wakes me up. I had been up all night the night before, so she's handing me this phone, and I remember being like, oh, who is this? And my mom's like, and I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, mom, why are you waking me up this early in the morning so i answer the phone and i go hello and this guy goes hello am i speaking to brooke Alardo? and i'm like yeah who is this <laughs> and he was like hi i'm from whli radio shout out to you guys and he basically told me that he had heard my song and he wanted to play it for 14 consecutive weeks over the summer and that if he was to get more requests for it, he would play it even more. And he started telling me about how he needed me to send him like the audio clips and stuff. And he kind of just kept talking and talking and I remember being frozen. I was like, is somebody pranking me right now? Because this isn't funny. I had to keep pinching my skin. I was like, wait, my song is being played on the radio? Not to mention, it's one of my favorite songs that I wrote. It's called If I Had One More Chance. It's about my papa who passed away, basically saying if I had one more chance with him, the things I would do. You guys should definitely listen to it. I will link it down below. But yeah, I couldn't believe that what he was saying was real. And he was just being so sweet. He was telling me he loved my voice. He thought that that song was so perfect and beautiful and that other people would think it was beautiful. And I literally can't describe the feeling I felt of getting that phone call and being told that my song was gonna be played on the radio. Like, saying it out loud, it doesn't even sound real. It sounds like something I would have a dream about when I was a little girl and like just wish would happen to me when I wake up and realize it's not reality and I just cry a little bit in the corner of my room, no big deal. But I just remember it being one of the most memorable moments in my life and I honestly will never, ever, ever forget that day. So now I'm gonna talk about how he actually found my music. So I was like, how did he find this song? Yes, it's up on YouTube, but I, I just didn't think that he saw it on YouTube. So. I actually found out that my grandma, AKA my mini mam manager, she's like my grand manager, grand momager, grand momager, grandmother momager. Anyway, she's like a manager agent to me and every event she goes to, she's always telling people about my music. She'll be at a restaurant and people will be like, oh, are you liking your salad? And she'll be like, I like this salad, but you know what I like better? My granddaughter's singing. You should definitely check her out. She's on YouTube. So literally anywhere she goes, she's just always saying my name and talking about how proud she is of me. And it really seriously makes me so happy how happy I make her. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, grandma. I know you're not watching this because you don't know how to work a cell phone or YouTube or the internet or anything, but you do know how to get me my jobs, which I have have to say I'm incredibly thankful for. My grandma has more friends than probably all of us combined. She talks to everybody and she tells everybody that I'm a singer. And through these people, she meets other people who have singing connections and she gets me to sing the national anthem places. She gets me to sing at different events. She gets me to sing my original songs places. And thanks to her, she was able to get my songs played on the radio through one of her friends. Now, obviously this is not an easy thing. You cannot just go up to random people who work at radio stations and be like, Hey, play my song on your radio. It doesn't work like that. I wish it did, but it doesn't. My grandma did know this guy for quite some time and had been talking to him for quite some time. She's won a bunch of raffles off their radio station and yeah. So my advice for you guys, 
no matter what you're doing in life, whether you're singing, so my advice for you guys, so my advice for you guys, if you guys want to share your music with people all around the world like my dream, you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely never stop promoting your music. Talk to people from fan bases, talk to people you meet on the streets, tell people about your music, give random people your album and say, hey, check out my music. Put up posters saying to follow your YouTube channel or listen to your music or something. Go perform at open mic nights and do some gigs if you can. Just never stop promoting yourself and pushing yourself, pushing your way into the music industry because that's the only way you're ever gonna get anywhere is by trying really hard even when it feels impossible. I've also had the great opportunity of singing the national anthem and my original song for the Jets. Let's talk about that experience really quick. So the whole team of the Jets and their coaches and stuff were having this private meeting at this event in a really, really beautiful restaurant. When I tell you beautiful, I mean, oh my God. And I got invited to go sing there and they wanted me to sing the national anthem and actually sing one of my original songs for them, which was really cool. My grandma also was able to get me this gig by talking to a bunch of people because that's the way she is. So seriously, if this doesn't say anything to you guys, like just talk to everybody. Tell everybody about your music. Don't be shy at all. I would have to say the best part about that night wasn't meeting all the really tall, big football players who I couldn't tell you one name of any of them, but I met practically all of them. But the most memorable part to me was the chocolate fondue fountain. That thing was so beautiful. I got chocolate all over myself after I sang. I am addicted to chocolate strawberries and chocolate bananas. Oh, that thing was delicious. But I'm getting off topic. So anyway, I would just say never stop believing in yourself and never let no tear you down. I actually had to write a paper about this in my English class and it was about competition and how competition can either make us better or worse. And I decided to write a position paper about it and make the article about my music career because while I've seen how competition can bring the worst out in people, it can make people sad, it can make them depressed by being told no all the time, it can make them like frustrated and want to give up because they see everybody else is just becoming a rising star out of nowhere and they're just sitting there working their tails off and nothing's happening for them. Sometimes I would feel this way and not that I'd want to give up, but I just felt so defeated at times when I was watching everybody else grow into these huge stars, not even singers, just like People doing nothing and becoming famous. Catch me outside, how about that? But it does get frustrating because it's like I'm working so hard and it just sometimes feels like nothing is ever gonna happen. But that's all the more reason to just keep pushing yourself. I also said competition can make you better because while you do get upset or while you do wish that that could be you, that's all the more reason to go for your dream. That's all the more reason to motivate you to go live your dream. Anytime I was told no on auditions or I didn't get calls back, I took that energy and I didn't sit here and cry in my room. I never cried once from being told no. What I did was I worked 10 times harder. And thanks to that, my song got on the radio. I have a thriving YouTube channel, which I'm super proud of, and I hope to make even bigger. And I'm just in a really happy place right now, and things are going really great for me. And I've made a lot of great connections along the way that I'm hoping will only get me to great places from here on out. So I just think the bottom line is, don't give up. I'm just showing you guys above my door here. Follow your dreams. Sorry if this video was really short and really bland, but I was running out of time. It is literally probably almost 12 in the morning and I have to post this video tomorrow and I'm really, really tired, but whatever, that's life and I'm happy and I love you guys so much. And it would mean the entire world to me if you guys would support me on my musical journey because that's really why I started the second channel. I wanted to reach more people and I love telling stories. I tell stories all the time through my music. I tell stories through my writing and I figured why not tell stories on here. But my biggest dream is to become a singer and to live live that dream would actually mean the world to me to get to share my music with an even bigger group of people with people all across the world I I can't even think about it it gives me the chills but yeah I would appreciate it so much if you guys would support me on my music journey and watch my music journey grow by subscribing right down below to my main channel I post covers every single Wednesday and Sunday and you guys can suggest covers you want me to sing in the comments below of my videos and I will do them because I do make them for you guys and also for myself too but mostly for you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys give this video a big 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 thumbs up and I will We'll see you guys on Monday. Don't stop believing.
Bang, bang into the room.